Hey guys, my name is Sarah and welcome to Move Movement Yoga. It's been a little while since I've made a YouTube video, so I'm really happy to be back um, and bringing you some more content. Today's video is going to be a great little flow that you can start your day off. And we're going to be focusing on the theme of gratitude and just moving our body, just getting it prepped and ready for the day. Also, this is a great class for anyone who is new to yoga, still getting comfortable with the practice. We're going to keep things nice and simple. So when you're ready, get your space set up. Make sure you've got a mat with you. And if you do have any props like box or bolsters, make sure they're handy just in case. Um, and then when you're ready, we will begin. So when you're ready, come onto your mat. We're going to start the class in a child's pose. So you're going to bring your knees nice and wide and bring the big toes to touch. And then when you're ready, nice and slow, just begin to walk your arms forward and drop the crown of your head down towards the mat. When you arrive in your child's pose, just take a moment to soften through the shoulders, bring a little weightiness to the body, and see if you can really focus on bringing your awareness to the space where the back of your heart resides. Now, as you take this time to fully land in your child's pose, See if you can just begin to notice the natural rhythm of your breath. Notice as the breath makes its way in through your nose, really pulls down into your chest and lands at the lowest part of your belly. Then just notice how the breath feels as it pulls from the belly, draws up through the lungs and then gently releases out through your nose. Now, if you're practicing in the morning, you might feel a little bit more heavy, a little bit more sluggish. Maybe your mind is wandering just a little bit as you start to wake up for your day. But see if you can still bring a deep sense of weight, and heaviness to your breath to really anchor you into your body. Now I really like to start my day off with a little gratitude practice. I find cultivating a sense of gratitude as I begin the day allows me to see all the blessings that are within my day gives me something really positive to focus on and reminds me that the universe and the world around me is always providing for me. So why don't you just take a moment now just to really focus in to the energy of your heart and just take a moment to think about something physical within your body that you're really grateful for. And then begin to think about something emotional within your body that you're grateful for. And then just to begin to bring your awareness now to a person in your life that you are grateful for. And then lastly, just bring your awareness now to something in your life, whether it's an object or a circumstance or a situation that you are grateful for. And as you remain connected to your sense of gratitude, <laughs> We'll just take now a nice, deep inhale through the nose. 
and then a deep exhale through the mouth. Slowly begin to walk your hands back towards your knees. And just bring your knees in towards one another. You might now feel that you're quite open through the hips. Now from here, we're just gonna come into a seat. So something that's nice and comfortable. If you need to release through your legs, maybe windshield wiper them from side to side. We're just gonna take a simple breathing exercise now just to get us once again, really grounded into our body and prepared for our day. So if you feel comfortable to do so, find a nice long spine and maybe close your eyes. Once again, just bring your awareness to the natural rhythm of your breath. Just really notice how the breath feels as it comes in through the nose and then out through the nose. And now we're just gonna move through a breath count. So I'm gonna guide you through it as best I can. I want you to really focus on lengthening the breath and sipping breath in as you draw in. Try not to pull in really fast. And then as you exhale, we're gonna deepen the breath a little bit. But if you're not sure if you're new to these sorts of breathing cycles, I'm gonna guide you through it all. So when you're ready, begin to take a nice, slow, deep, steady inhale through the nose. And then a deep exhale through the mouth. As you take in your next inhale, begin to breathe through the nose for a count of one, two, three. Then exhale through the nose for one, two, three, four. Inhale through the nose for one, two, three, four. Exhale one, two, three, four, five. Inhale one, two, three, four, five. Exhale one, two, three, four, five, six, inhale, one, two, three, four, five, six, exhale, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Just now take a nice steady breath in through the nose. Deep exhale through the mouth. Just notice how the breath makes you feel. And just come back into that natural rhythm, your natural breathing. Now from here, we're just gonna take some gentle movements to begin to warm up into the body. So remain, to, remain comfortable in your seat. You're just gonna begin to bring your right hand down onto the mat. Take an inhale, reach your left arm up towards the ceiling. And then as you exhale, begin to lean to the right side. I want you to extend energy out through your fingertips and if it feels comfortable, begin to rotate your heart and maybe your eye gaze up towards the ceiling. See if you can find a few rounds of steady even breath as you breathe into the side body. And then when you're ready, nice and slow, bring your left hand down onto the mat. Inhale, reach your arm up towards the ceiling and then as you exhale, once again, lean to the side. See if you can send energy out through the fingertips once again, maybe rotating the heart up towards the ceiling. Then when you're ready, nice and slow, let's come back through center. From here, bring your hands onto your knees. We're gonna take a few seated cat cows. So I want you to begin to pull on your knees, puff your heart up towards the ceiling, take your eye gaze up. And then as you exhale, draw your chin towards your chest, find a slight round, drop the crown of your head towards the earth. Inhale, pull on the knees, puff the heart up, draw your heart up towards the ceiling. As you exhale, begin to round, pulling on the knees, dropping the crown of your head. One more, take an inhale, pull on the knees, puff the heart up, take your eye gaze up. And then as you exhale, slowly round, dropping your forehead down towards the mat. From here, just gently begin to release. And we're gonna come into our tabletop position, coming onto our hands and our knees. So when you arrive into your tabletop position, if you find that you wanna take a few wiggles of the hips just to release, Maybe that feels really nice. Then feel free to do that. Otherwise, come back into a neutral position. Think about clawing the mat. So really spread down through the five fingertips and also pushing into the base of your knuckles and the base of your hands. So really active through your hands. 
Begin to draw your lower belly in towards your spine. And then reach energy out through your tailbone and also out through the crown of your head. Just focus on your breath here for a few rounds. Then when you're ready, begin to sink your belly down towards the mat. Pull your hands towards your knees as you arc your heart forward. Then as you exhale, curl your tailbone, begin to round the spine, draw your chin towards your chest. As you exhale, slowly lower the belly, coming into your cow pose, reaching your heart forward, drawing your tailbone back. As you exhale, begin to curl the tailbone, dropping the crown of your head towards earth. We'll take one more round, just opening through the spine. And then we'll all meet back in center. Now from here, I want you to begin to draw the ball of the right foot behind you, keeping the toes on the mat. We're just going to shift our weight back and forth, seeing if we can stretch into the wrist and also into the back of the right leg. Notice how your energy feels as you continue to warm up and open through the body. Then when you're ready, nice and slow, begin to float your right leg high into the air. Engage through your core, so pull it up towards your spine. Now you can stay here if you want to go a little further. Keep your right hand on the mat, but begin to extend your left arm, so the opposite arm to your leg, out in front. Take an inhale to lengthen in both directions, and then as you exhale, draw your elbow and your knee towards one another. Push against the ground to round. As you inhale, lengthen in both directions. Exhale, curl in. Inhale, lengthen. Exhale, curl. Last one, inhale to lengthen. And then exhale to curl. From here, bring your left hand back down into the mat. And from here, we're going to step our right foot between our thumbs at the top of the mat. You're going to begin to align your feet to come up into your first low lunge. So you want to focus on having your knee over your ankle at the top of the mat. And you want to feel a stretch through the left hip flexor. If you notice that your back knee is in a bit too much and you're not really getting this stretch, walk your back knee out a bit. Now, option with the toes, the back toes, I like to keep my toes tucked, but if you prefer to have them untucked, you can do that. You just find the variation that feels good in your body. Begin to pull the feet towards one another, really ground down through the toes, and then as you inhale, sweep your arms up to come up into your low lunge. Think about pulling energy from your pelvic floor all the way up towards your heart and then out through the crown of your head, extend energy out through the fingertips. Find a nice, steady, even breath. Then begin to lean your chest forward, gently sweep your arms back as you reach your collarbones forward. Then as you inhale, ride your breath, sweep your arms back up towards the ceiling. As you exhale, slowly lean your chest forward, sweep your arms back. Inhale, reach up. And then this time as you exhale, begin to take your left hand onto your front knee. And you're going to take your right arm behind you. So we're going to find a gentle twist. Keep leaning the hips forward so you feel the stretch through your right hip flexor. And if it feels okay in the neck, maybe take your eye gaze towards your back thumb. Feel nice and steady with the breath. And then nice and slow. As you inhale, come back through center, sweep your arms up. From here, you're going to bring your fingertips to frame your front foot. You're then going to begin to walk both of your fingertips both of your fingertips, both of your hands over to the left side of your mat. And you're going to pivot your back foot so it comes all the way to the right side of the mat. We're going to then draw our torso up and extend our arms forward as if we're coming into a warrior two, but it's a modified version. So our back knee is down on the mat. From here, you'll take your eye gaze over your middle finger. And as you take your next breath, just begin to lean your weight forward. We're going to start to stretch and open into the hips. Slowly shift your weight back. Lean forward, feel the grounding through your right toes. Gently shift your weight back. Last one, lean forward. And then nice and slow, come back through center. Bring your left hand down onto the back of your mat and then take your right arm up. You're gonna start to straighten your right leg and then place your foot so it's parallel to the shortage of your mat. So we're coming into a modified side plank. See if you can find a nice, steady, even breath. Grounding down through your base. Keep lifting up through the right hip and the right fingertips. And then when you're ready, nice and slow, you're going to draw your torso up. Your right leg remains straight. 
and then you're gonna bring your right hand onto the thigh and you're gonna reach your left arm up and then lean towards the right side. See if you can rotate once again your heart up towards the ceiling, really extend energy out through the fingertips. Nice and slowly come back through center. And then you're gonna bring your hands back down onto the mat and just align yourself back into your tabletop position. When you arrive, just come back into the breath. Maybe you need to take a nice long inhale through the nose and then a deep exhale through the mouth. And from here, we'll move to the other side. So begin to extend the ball of the left foot back. Let's just rock the weight back and forth just to stretch into the wrists, feeling energy through the back of the leg, really gripping into the mat with the fingertips. Then from here, begin to float the heel up towards the ceiling as you draw your lower belly in towards your spine. If this is a good balance challenge, you can stay here. If you wanna go a little bit further, extend your right fingertips forward. Think about drawing energy in two opposite directions. And then as you take your next exhale, draw your elbow in towards your knee, round in. As you inhale, lengthen out. As you exhale, curl. Inhale to lengthen. Exhale to curl. Last one, inhale to lengthen. Exhale to curl. Keep your left knee drawing in, plant the right hand back down onto the mat, and then to the best of your ability, step your left foot forward. Take a moment to pull the feet towards one another, and then as you inhale, begin to sweep your arms up, coming into your low lunge. Take a moment just to feel the stretch through the right hip flexor, lengthening up through the crown of the head. Then as you take your next breath, lean your chest forward. Inhale, begin to sweep the arms up. Exhale, lean back. Inhale, lift up. And then this time as you exhale, bring your right hand onto your left knee and then take your left arm towards the back of your mat. Maybe take your eye gaze to follow. Find a nice steady even breath. Feel the strength of your feet as you pull them towards one another. And then nice and slow on your next inhale, sweep your arms back through center. As you exhale, bring your fingertips down to frame your front foot and then walk your hands over to the long edge of your mat on the right side of your mat as you pivot your back toes towards the left side. So once again, we're lining up into our modified version of our warrior two. Keep your front heel in line with your back knee and then draw your torso up, take your arms out wide and then take your eye gaze over your middle finger. As you take your next inhale, lean your weight forward. As you exhale, come back. Inhale, lean forward. Exhale, shift back. Inhale to lean forward. And then as you exhale to come back, slowly bring your right hand towards the back of the mat. Straighten your front leg, but align your foot so it's parallel to the top of the mat. And then take your left arm up towards the ceiling. Feel grounded through your right hand and your left foot. And maybe take your eyes up towards your thumb. Find a nice, steady, even breath. Then when you're ready, nice and slow, begin to draw the torso up. Bring your left hand onto your left leg and then reach your right arms overhead, feeling a stretch through the right side body. Nice and slow, come back through center. And then square off once again onto your mat into a tabletop position. When you arrive, take a nice long inhale through the nose, a deep exhale through the mouth. From here, grip into the mat with all of your fingertips, begin to tuck your toes. We're gonna to make our way up into a downward facing dog. So begin to lift the knees, reach your hips up, and then come into your down dog. If you feel tight through the back of the legs, you can pedal through the feet, drawing one heel up and then the other. Think about having your ears in between your triceps, and just notice what's happening with the back of your shoulders. If you notice that you've got a bit of a curve, I want you to bend your knees, Draw your chest towards your big toes and then lift your hips up. If your heels are lifted, it's okay. We can work to draw them down towards the mat over time, but I want you to think about bringing more integrity through the spine and the shoulders. Now, if this feels really intense, I just want you to breathe into the intensity. Notice the heat moving through the body. Take a nice, slow inhale through the nose and then a deep exhale through the mouth. Then begin to take your eye gaze forward and you're gonna step or hop forward into your forward fold. 
I want you to drop the crown of your head, bring a little micro bend to the knees, feel the length through the spine. Then as you take your next inhale, bend into your knees, begin to sweep your arms all the way up, take your eye gaze up towards the ceiling. And then as you exhale, bring your hands towards your heart. Take a nice long inhale through your nose. And then a deep exhale through your mouth. So when you're ready, we're going to prepare to move through our main flow. I want you to focus on really gripping down into the toes. Feel a lengthening and a broadening of the feet as they ground down. And then take an inhale to sweep your arms up, take your eye gaze up. As you exhale, begin to hinge at your hips, cascade your heart all the way down towards the mat. Bring your fingertips down and drop the crown of your head. As you inhale, lift the crown of your head towards the top of the mat and then reach your tailbone back, coming into your flat back. Then as you exhale, begin to fold the chest once again. As you take your next inhale, float your right leg high into the air. If you can't reach the floor, bend your knees so generously that you can bring your fingertips down. And then you're going to slow motion, land the ball of your back foot onto the mat. Squeeze your feet towards one another. And then as you inhale, begin to draw your torso up, coming up into our crescent lunge. Think about pulling your right hip back, left hip forward. Keep drawing up through the crown of the head and the fingertips. Find a nice, steady, even breath. As you take your next breath, begin to drop your back heel. You're going to open your arms out wide and we're going to line into our warrior two. So make sure that your back foot is parallel to the shortage of your mat and that your front heel is in line with your back arch. Then take your eye gaze over your middle finger and feel nice and steady and strong through your foundation. So the soles of your feet. Then on your next breath, bring your back hand onto your back thigh and then flip your front palm overhead, reach towards the back of your mat, coming into a reverse warrior. Keep bending into the front knee. Then nice and slow, come back through center. Then from here, come onto the ball of the back foot once again, square your hips forward, take your arms up. So find your crescent lunge once again. And then slow motion, bring your right hand down towards the top of the mat and then rotate your left arm and maybe your eye gaze up. So finding a gentle twist, but keep your back thigh nice and strong as you push against the earth. Then from here, slow motion, bring your left hand down and then step back into a high plank. Have your hands underneath your shoulders, draw energy out through the back of your heels, draw your lower belly in towards your spine and then push the back of your heart up towards the ceiling. For the strength of your core as you pull it in towards your spine. Then slow motion, begin to lower your knees down into the mat. Take a cycle of breath in through the nose, out through the mouth. Then begin to lower your chest between your thumbs at the top of the mat as you squeeze your elbows in. Then untuck your toes, squeeze your elbows in, and as you inhale, peel your heart off of the mat. And then as you exhale, lower. Slowly push all the way back towards your heels with your arms remain extended and then drop the crown of your head. Land in your child's pose. Take a nice steady inhale through the nose. Deep exhale through the mouth. Then from here, once again, take your eyes between your thumbs. Begin to tuck your toes. We're going to lift back up into our downward facing dog. Make sure your fingertips are spread nice and wide. Push energy into the earth. Keep lifting your hips high. Draw your chest towards your big toes as you bring a little bend to your knees. Feel nice and strong through your base. If you feel intensity in this pose, just breathe into the energy. Then take your eye gaze between your thumbs and you can walk or hop or step into your forward fold. Drop the crown of your head. As you inhale, begin to sweep your arms up. Take your eye gaze up towards the ceiling. And then as you exhale, bring your hands towards your heart. Take a nice steady inhale through the nose. Deep exhale through the mouth. Feel the gravity of the feet as they anchor into the earth and feel the lengthening through the crown of your head. So energy moving in two opposite directions. And then when you're ready, we'll prepare to move into our flow on the second side. Little bend of the knees as you take an inhale, sweep your arms up, take your eye gaze up towards the ceiling. As you exhale, cascade your heart all the way down towards the mat, drop the crown of your head. As you inhale, lift the crown of your head, draw your tailbone back, coming into your flat back. And then as you exhale, fold. Make sure your fingertips are on the floor. If you can't reach the floor, really bend into your knees so you can bring your hands down. Then begin to float your left leg high. 
bend into the front knee in slow motion, lower the ball of the back foot down towards the back of the mat. Pull the feet towards one another, bring a little bend to the back knee, and then as you inhale, begin to draw your torso up as you sweep your arms up, coming into your crescent lunge. Just pull your shoulders down and back and lengthen out through your fingertips. Find strength and breath. Then nice and slow, drop your back heel so it becomes parallel to the short edge of your mat. Open your arms out wide. We're going to come into our warrior two once again. I'm just going to realign myself so you can continue to see me. Keep bending into the front knee. Make sure your front heel is in line with your back arch. Shoulders drop down. Eye gaze is over your middle front finger. Then from here, nice and slow, bring your back hand onto your back thigh. Flip your front palm over and then begin to reverse your warrior. Ride the breath as you draw your torso up. Extend the arms out once again. From here, come onto the ball of the back foot. Square your hips forward and then extend your arms up. Find your crescent lunge once again. Then slow motion. Bring your left hand down onto the mat. Take your right arm up. Find a twist. Keep the back leg nice and charged, but keep bending into the front knee. Slow motion. Bring your right hand down onto the mat and step back into a plank pose. Reach energy out through your heels. Draw your lower belly in towards your spine. Push the back of your heart up towards the ceiling. Keep lifting your hips up just a little bit higher. And then as you exhale, lower your knees. Take a nice long inhale through the nose. Deep exhale through the mouth. Then from here, lower your chest between your thumbs. The top of the mat, squeeze your elbows in. And as you inhale, untuck your toes and then peel your heart off of the mat. And then as you exhale, slow motion, push all the way back towards the heels. Coming into your child's pose, drop all the way down towards the mat. Feeling once again the energy of your body. See if you can slow the breath right down once again. From here, slowly come back onto the heels and we're just going to make our way into a nice comfortable seat. Now, if you've got a little additional time, I would highly recommend that you come down into a Shavasana, so laying down onto the back. But as we're preparing ourselves for the morning, I find that it's a great way to end the class actually in a comfortable seat. So you may want to sit onto your mat directly or maybe you want to bring a block underneath your cushion. When you land in your seat, just take a moment to roll the shoulders down and back and just begin to close your eyes. Let's just take a couple of moments here just now to really integrate the movement of our body into our practice. When we begin to move and we create heat and energy, things start to bubble up to the surface. So it's our practice of stillness that allows us to integrate any sort of information that's bubbled to the surface. So as you come into your seat, if you feel comfortable to close your eyes, just begin to bring your awareness to the natural rhythm of your breath. Notice the texture of the breath as it draws in through the nose, pulls down through the chest, and really lands at the lowest part of your belly. And then notice how the breath feels as it pulls from the belly slowly draws up through the chest and gently releases out through the nose. See if you can really anchor into the sensations of the body, giving it your full awareness and attention. And just know that our body communicates to us in sensation. So see if you can really tune in and just listen. There's no need to create any sort of commentary to what it is that you find. No need for judgment or any sort of stories. Just see if you can simply witness yourself, your body and your breath.
Now I want you to gently bring one hand onto your heart and then one hand onto your belly. With that same awareness, just be really mindful of your own touch. Feel the energy of your body. Notice the rise and fall of your belly as you breathe and the gentle beating of your heart. Now we're gonna anchor in our practice now with an affirmation. So feel free to repeat this out loud or to yourself within your mind so we can continue to cultivate our practice of gratitude. Our affirmation for today is, I anchor into love and move from a place of gratitude. I anchor into love and move from a place of gratitude. I anchor into love and move from a place of gratitude. Just notice how those words feel as they ripple through your body. Now together, we're just gonna end the class with one last breath cycle. So just begin to pull in through the nose, a deep, slow inhale. And then open your mouth and side release. You can slowly release your hands and just gently begin to open your eyes. I hope you're feeling a little bit more energized from our movement practice and feeling a little bit more anchored into your sense and practice of gratitude. As you move throughout your days, allow yourself to think about all of the gifts that you have in your life. The universe is always providing you. So just allow yourself to open your lens and see the gifts that are there. I wanna say thank you so much for being here with me today and I hope to see you in another class soon.